Hadith here. Here we go. This is your prophet, not me, not Zakir Naik. Here first, your prophet is saying that every child he is born as a Muslim, and then his parents, they will make him a Jew or a Hindu or a Buddha or a Christian or whatever. And this is Sahih. Do you see it? Do you see it? Okay. So now we guarantee that every child is born as a Muslim. So a child is born as a Muslim and he die as a Muslim, where he should go? Oh, Yusuf is asking me, look what Yusuf he said. Yusuf, I think you are one of those who did read the article they made about how to answer a Christian prince. Thank you, Yusuf, for answering finally. Guys, look what Mr. Yusuf he said. You are asking, you like ask tricky question. I think you want to, want to say tricky. Uh, I mean, how, how tricky is that? This is a very easy question. A child he is born as a Muslim. He is six months old. If he die, he go where? I mean, why it's tricky? I did not ask you about mathematics or anything. I mean, it's very simple. A child is a baby. He never commits sin. He's two days old, maybe, and he died. And he's a born as a Muslim, where he shall go? Shall he go to heaven or to hell? How in the world this is a tricky question? I mean, if a question like this is a trick in you, I don't know. I mean, what, what do you say to your wife if you if she say to you why you are late then? Yusuf? If your wife or your mother-in-law, unbelievable. I mean, Yusuf, he will hit his head in the wall. His mother-in-law asking him, where you been? I'm just asking you, a child, he die, he's a baby, and he's a Muslim. If he die, where he will go? How, how this is a tricky? I will help you, according to me as a Christian, according to my Bible. If he died and he is a baby, he will go to heaven. According to you, if he is a baby, he will go where? Yusuf? Adrian, be nice. Are you there? They are afraid even to ask such a simple question because it's time is stupid cult. The Muslim they made an article saying how to debate a Christian prince. This is many years ago. If he asks you a question, never say yes, never say no. Because if, if you say yes, he will beat you. If you say no, he will beat you. It's for Allah to decide. Mm -hmm. So it's not your sin will take you to heaven or to hell. It is Allah who decide. Thank you very much for the answer. Guys, read carefully. It's for Allah to decide. And he's right. It's destiny. Let us see what Muhammad is about this. Just to show you that Zakir Naik and all those people are a bunch of a fraud. Even a child who never commits sin. Still he might go to hell. Let us read the hadith. This is Aisha and Muhammad, they went to a funeral, a funeral of a child, an infant. Aisha, she said, after she, they attended the funeral, there is a happiness for this child who is a bird from the birds of the paradise. Upon that, Allah Messenger said to her, Don't you know that Allah created the paradise, and he created hell, and he created the doors of the paradise, and the dozen of the hell? Hmm. Muhammad, you did not like what Aisha she said. Different hadith. Let us make it more clear. And remember, those are sahih. Those are sahih. The Muslim, they can't say this is weak and you know, this garbage always they come with. Aisha she said, after the attending a funeral of a child from Al Ansar. Okay. Which means they are Muslims. That's why Muhammad is going to pray on him because he's a Muslim. Allah Messenger, she said to him, There is a happiness for this child who is a bird from the birds of paradise, for it committed no sin, and nor has reached the age when one can commit sin. Wonderful. So now it's clear.
Yeah, thank you, Robin. Yeah, Robin, he have a good point there. Thank you, Robin, a smart person. Robin Asunkyon, I'm not saying, I'm not sure if I'm saying your name correctly. Excuse my English. So we will talk about that, Robin, later. So the Messenger of Allah said, there is a happiness for this child, sorry, sorry Aisha, she said, there is a happiness for this child because he commit no sin. He did not even reach the age of sin. That's wonderful. So now we knew that this is very, very small, young child. He did not reach the age of any sin. He's very innocent. He said, Aisha, the adventure, it might be the otherwise. What is the otherwise? Hell. Do you see it, people? Muhammad, he did not say, yeah, all right, you know, he will go to heaven because he commit no sin. He said it might be the otherwise. Aisha, she said he will go to heaven. Muhammad, he says it might be the otherwise. What is the otherwise? Hell. Do you see it, Muslims? Okay, wonderful. And then Muhammad, he continued explaining, saying, because Allah created for paradise those who are fit for it while they were yet in their father's backbone, not lions. And he created for hell those who go to hell while they are in their father backbone. Do you see it? So you do sin, you don't do sin, it doesn't matter. I mean, how clear the, the kid, you see, I'm, I'm giving you the example of the kid, the child, because you cannot play the game saying he commits sin, he did something, maybe Allah forgive him, not forgive him. This kid is a baby, is an infant. So what is the excuse for him to go to hell the answer is simple. Allah, he, before He created you, He decides where you will go. It's not up to you. The child here commits zero sin. You see, they lie to you. They say in Islam, if you do this, if you do that, if you don't pray, if you blah, 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 if you don't do jihad, you will go to hell. My friend, it's a joke. This guy is a child. He's not even just a child, he's an infant. He's a little baby. And Muhammad saying it clearly that the order created for hell, not just they will go to hell, they are created for hell. So people are two group, <clears throat> according to Muhammad. People who they are created for hell and people who they are created for heaven. So what you do in Islam doesn't matter. Islam is a stupid cult. And this is why this Muhammad and he is so upset from me having in my book this hadith exposing the lies of Muhammad exposing all of Islam because this world alone they need it they have to work the, uh, the world alone when Muhammad he says your deeds will not save you so they have to work to add the word alone so this is why you see those Muslims are making videos tons of videos saying Christian Prince he lie in his book what is the word alone but when we check and you can check and we, we challenge any Muslim to make a screenshot of the of the hadith and show me where is the word alone in the hadith in Arabic. So why they are so upset from the word alone? Because that word alone is enough to destroy everything about this cult. It is nothing but garbage in, garbage out. So he said, look, in the hour, one hour, 26 and 22nd, the man literally said, alone is not mentioned. Who is the Muslim want to get me busted and show me where it's mentioned? Who is the one to go to contact Zakir Naik? He says, Zakir Naik, this guy is saying the word alone is not mentioned in the hadith. And by the way, the Muhammad, and they keep saying to me, like there's a guy, his name is a Kareem, he says, why you don't dare to debate Zakir Naik? And the question is, do he dare to debate me? I, I'm, I'm going to call him right now. Give me his, give me his, uh, if you have a, I don't use Skype, but for the sake to make it easy, I will use Skype. 
Evo je Kolhen. All those who say they want to debate me, they dare to debate me. I will call him. I am the only one who open his to receive calls live from people I do not know. You see, all of you, you have to schedule for a debate and we need to know the topic before, two months before. Do you know why? Because none of you have knowledge and you do not know what to say. So you go and print like 2,000 pages from, uh, from uh, 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 Google piece be upon him in a topic. You cannot go out of the topic because the second we go out of the topic, we are destroyed. And I don't know if you call me what you will say to me. Live on air, no editing. That's alone telling you who is the weak and who is the coward and who is the one who have a fear from the truth. If somebody he called me, I have no idea what he would say to me. We did not even decide the topic.